All right, yo. So this is the GTX 1060 five gigabytes graphics card. Most people don't even know that it is a 1060 five gigabyte graphics card. They know of the three gigabyte and the six gigabyte, but there's actually a five gigabyte as well. So as you can see, this is the MSI version. It has uh, the sticker on the back there. We can see GTX 1060 5G. And it's looking a bit worse for wear, but not too bad, a bit dirty inside. And we have a uh, one display port, one HDMI and one DVI for the IO. We also have a dual fan design from the MSI cooler. So this graphics card, as you can see, is a five gigabyte variant and it was only made for the Asian market, mainly China and it was made for the mass amounts of internet cafes. Apparently six gigabytes is too much and quite expensive, but three gigabytes was too little. So they made this five gigabyte variant, which is about in the middle and not too bad. I remember people saying back in the day that three gigabytes was too little for the 1060. And they were probably correct about that because I had one and it always performed a bit weird especially in games that use lots of memory. So this GPU is more cost effective because it's got less memory and it also has a lower memory bandwidth at only 160 gigabytes per second rather than the 192 on the other two versions. Apart from that though, everything's pretty much the same on this as compared to the GTX 1066 gigabyte version. So there are 1280 CUDA cores uh, 48 ROPS, uh, GPU core clock of 1506 MHz, a boost clock of 1709, a memory clock of 2000 MHz, and a TDP of 120 watts. So I don't know whether this was actually used in an internet cafe or not, but I assume so. It is dirty and uh, musty as shit, but lots of gaming cafes are probably cleaning them out so you can buy them for very cheap in most stores in asia mostly i bought this in a market in china not from the gaming cafe unsurprisingly but from a seller a reseller i'll show you that now so as you can see they have many graphics cards here they have lots of old used and uh broken pc components as well as lots of monitors just basically anything that people just sell on gets uh, ends up here, I guess. So this is a stack of graphics cards just laying here. And we have lots of pieces. And then this is a stack of GTX 1060s. They have the 6GB, 3GB and the 5GB. Here we're holding the 5GB version, the one I bought in the end. And I believe I paid 400 RMB, which is about $50, which is not too bad of a price. And that also included the fact that the guy was going to clean it, which I expected he was going to use like alcohol or something, but I actually just got a brush and like brushed it, used a paintbrush. So it's still pretty dirty and I still have it now, uh, but we'll be cleaning that soon. And here we were testing it. And it all worked fine, after a few attempts, albeit though, but it seems to be working fine now, so that's good. So obviously we want to find out the performance of this, so in order to do that we should have a 6GB and a 3GB, which we do have. So here is the 3GB card, looks exactly the same. And here is the 6GB card. It's, it's a Zotac card, but it should be pretty similar. Okay, so let's get into some games now. So first up, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. So here we have it at Ultra, except for the 3GB card, that's at uh, normal, because the memory r ran out, and it doesn't let you use more memory than you have in the graphics card. So for the 3GB card, we got an average FPS of 23.2, a minimum of 21.8, maximum 24.9, 1% low of 21 FPS, and a 0.1% low of 20.7 FPS. For the 5GB card, we got an average FPS of 
a minimum of 33.6, maximum of 48.8, 1% low of 32.6 FPS and a 0.1% low of 30.5 FPS. And finally for the 6GB card, we've got an average FPS of 38.4, a minimum of 33.9, maximum of 41.4, uh, 1% low of 32.5, 0.1% low of 31.4 FPS. So overall, both all the cards perform quite well, except for the 3GB card, which I think suffers due to lack of memory. Also, the texture quality had to be turned down for the 3GB card, because it ran out of memory. So bear that in mind, if you're looking at the 3GB card. So next we have GTA 5 on the highest settings, as shown here. So for the 3GB card, we got an average FPS of 39.9, a minimum frame rate of 29.8, a maximum of 60.1, a 1% low of 28.3 and a 0.1% low of 27.8 FPS. Which isn't too bad, but this is an older game and it doesn't use too much memory, so... That's pretty decent. And for the GTX 1060 5GB, we got an average FPS of 49.8, a minimum of 34.8, maximum of 60.9, a 1% low of 34.5 and a 0.1% low of 33.8. So the 1060 5GB is definitely holding its ground. It's slightly worse performing than the 6GB, but that's to be expected. And finally for the 6GB card we got an average of 53.9, minimum of 37.9, maximum of 60.9, a 1% low of 37.2 and a 0.1% low of 36.1. Next we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider next on these settings, Ultra, the highest. So in Shadow of the Tomb Raider for the 3GB card we got an average FPS of 36.7, a minimum of 31.3, a maximum of 43.3. A 1% low of 30.4 FPS and a 0.1% low of 29.3. For the 5GB card, we got an average of 48.1, a minimum of 41.4, a maximum of 55, a 1% low of 41.1 and a 0.1% low of 40.2 FPS. And finally, for the 6GB card, we got an average FPS of 51.0 FPS, a minimum of 43.7, a maximum of 57.8 a 1% low of 43.4 and a 0.1% low of 42.4 FPS. Okay, so now we have Rainbow Six Siege at Ultra settings. And for the 3 gigabyte card, we got an average FPS of 139.3 a minimum of 113.4, a maximum of 176.4, a 1% low of 113, a 0.1% low of 93.9. And for the 5GB card, we got an average FPS of 176.7, a minimum of 154.5, a maximum of 211, a 1% low of 152.9, and a 0.1% low of 149 FPS. And finally, for the 6GB card, we got an average FPS of 137.8, a minimum of 118.6, a 179 maximum FPS, 1% low of 117, and a 0.1% low of 111.8. But I won't take these values too seriously, because I played them on a different map, like an idiot. And now we have Fortnite at Epic settings. And in Fortnite... For the 3GB card we got an average frame rate of 60.8, a minimum of 54.3, maximum of 70.9, a 1% low of 44.5 and a 0.1% low of 24.8. The 5GB card gave us a average of 60.6, minimum of 51.1, a maximum of 71.1, a 1% low of 29.5 and a 0.1% low of 21.5. And for the 6GB card we got an average FPS of 63.8, Minimum of 56.2, maximum of 
a 1% low of 47.6 and a 0.1% low of 21.9. When we take a look at GPC, we can see the 5GB card here and all the specs. And we can see it has 5120 MB of memory. Okay, so now let's open this graphics card so we can see what's inside. So you can see this sticker there, the warranty sticker, still intact. It's a bit dirty, quite dirty actually. Okay, so now we can take this off and we see how dirty it is. It's very dirty. So we can use some new thermal paste. And then we're going to clean this up so we can see what the chip says. Okay, so now that's cleared off, we can read the chip now and we can see it says GP106-350-K2-A1 and that is the Chinese GPU. So overall I would say this graphics card is quite good because it's nearly the same price as the 3GB 1060 but it's cheaper than the 6GB uh, by a considerable amount. I paid 400 for the 5GB RMB but the 3GB was around 370 RMB. The 6 gigabyte, however, was around 500 RMB, which is quite considerably more, like uh, $15 more. So I say it's quite good. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Consider subscribing if you want.